Okay, so this is the first in a series of videos where I am talking about using the um, Oculus Quest 2, or I guess it's now the MetaQuest 2 um, VR headset for architectural visualization. Um, recently did get uh, the Quest 2, super, super happy with it. Love the fact that it can operate wirelessly, and I want to cover all of those things, both directly connecting it to the computer as well as using it as a standalone device and getting into some more cinematic VR kinds of things. So let's start by um, the, the software of choice for me, what I typically teach at the university level, which is Twin Motion. Um, it's a great design tool. That's, that's why I really like it. Um, it's an excellent visualization tool as well, but in particular, students that are learning design, it's fabulous. So if you notice, I... To, to leverage VR in twin motion. So this is like the fastest way to get to VR, in my opinion. Um, I already have my headset connected. So I've got the Quest 2 connected via the link, which essentially is a USB-C cable. Um, I do, I am using the one that will, that you can purchase directly from Oculus. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's one of those um, more guaranteed to work, uh, which makes me happy, right? Everything is up and running. Uh, Oculus is up. If I put the headset on, I can see everything going on in the headset. It is activated. Super important. That needs to be up and running first. Next, I'm going to launch Twin Motion. So VR headset up and running first because Twin is going to identify the headset upon starting up the software. If it's not connected when it starts, at least how I've been using it in the past, it doesn't see the VR headset. So it's got to be up and running first. I am currently running the 2022 preview, uh, and I'm an educator, so I use the education version. So that's what you're going to see pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit launch. And then we'll load up a demo scene, and we'll walk through a few options. So also it's worth noting, um, I'm running uh, an Alienware with uh, an NVIDIA 3000 uh, series GTX video card. Um, super, super important. Um, you know, you need to at least be on a 2000 series NVIDIA. Um, I believe I am running a 3070 GTX. I'm really not positive. I should know that, but I don't. Um, so let's load up ThornQuest which is um, a version of Thorn Crown Chapel that I've been working with for quite a while now. Um, and you can see quite a while, it's actually, I've updated it and it's missing a whole bunch of textures and stuff, um, which I don't care about for a demo scene, it's all good. Um, so you can see this file, let's zip through the trees, let's get into the chapel. So if you don't know Thorn Crown um, by Faye Jones in Arkansas, you should. Uh, it's an amazing building absolutely amazing space okay so this is a quick vr version of it um which we've done a, a few uh documentary uh immersive documentary films on uh using phone motion which, which have been really fun to do with students so at this point i've got my scene loaded um all that i need to do um in terms of getting into vr and twin motion is going to the little eyeball clicking the vr button and again i, I say all that you need to do step one Get the Quest 2 up and working via a link before you launch the software. Step two, I'm coming over to the VR eyeball, clicking VR and start VR. And that will switch everything over to the, this sort of single eye version. Uh, it looks like it's picking the uh, right eye, I think. Um, and then when I put the headset on, We should have the scene activated. Let's grab my controllers. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings. And even though I have a pretty beefy laptop, ultra is way too high. Um, I go to medium, okay? Um, if you have ever run um, VR, you know, it, it can be an instant sick kind of thing. Um, and that's something you never want to do with your clients and say, here, check out this cool thing in VR. And by the way, I hope you don't get sick and throw up. Um, so navigation and twins, super easy. Um, I've got my little pointer. 
I can roll my wrist around to change the direction I'm facing when I'm land. Um, and I have a really tight boundary, so I'm going to bring my arms in just a little bit. Every time you're seeing this sort of thing right there, I'm actually getting outside my boundary. So let's kind of work on that just a little bit. But you can see I'm immediately in the space, and everything's super nice, super easy to explore, super easy to do via the link. Okay? So that is option one. So let's get into right away some of the more advanced options that we can start to do with this um, in the next video.